Right, so uh, what I thought I'd do is I'd share this with you here. It's just uh, about to start setting up the tent. It's just gone 7.30. It's hopefully be done in about 10 minutes or so. But if I look up here, you'll see something white. So what's that? So ultimately, I've got that Tyvek underneath the Dan Darnston uh, X-Mid 1. Uh, it means I can use it without the inner. It's lighter than Sil Nylon. And what I've done is I've coated it with Absil on one side. And so, forth, so far, when I've used it, it's done nothing. So it's the Alux. Double XL got it from Backpacking Light, so if you're interested, uh, yeah, great. Um, let's see what the rest of the tent looks like. So that's the tent up. So uh, didn't take very long at all, to be quite honest. Uh, went up pretty much straight away. I won't put out the guide points just up at the corners there. I'm sheltered in the trees, so I won't need that tonight. Um, what you'll maybe see if you look closely down here. Let's have a look at it. And what you'll see is I've put additional lines at the end of the tent. So, whoa, there we go. Got this uh, idea of when doing the GMT. Um, basically, there's plenty of times that you couldn't get the st the stakes in, so you had to tie to something um, or wrap, wrap around rocks. So, got into the habit of just adding a length at the end there. Um, it's really important to get this tent square. Uh, before you put the poles in, you just pop them through. The whoop, there we go, get used to this. <laughs> the um, the air vents, um, or you'll not get a decent pitch, and that's not great, but you know, it'll do for tonight. Catch you in a bit, okay? Um, so that's the inner in. I've not clipped it up to the top, um, just because it's a single, so there's plenty of room in there. As you can see, I've got the Tyvek at both sides. The key thing about this is it actually goes diagonally inside the tent. Down at the bottom, I don't know if you can get all that. Uh, the other thing about this, I should say it's uh, sil poly rather than sil nylon. The idea there is that it doesn't sag as much. And I found that to be true actually. So, yeah, can't really complain. And two doors, two vestibules. All good. Okay. So that's everything out of the bag. Um, now I'm working at about eight kilograms, far less than I've ever really walked with before. And it's not that I've bought lighter kit, although I've bought some. It's more to do with what I've left behind and actually been a bit stricter with myself. And the changing point with that was when I actually um, weighed everything and actually popped everything on to lighterback.com. Certainly something worth doing. Um, took a wee while but it was worth it. So what do we have here? So as I said, I've not put the nest up yet, it's just sitting in there at the back. At the other vestibule just put the empty rucksack. Looking down here I've got some light reading with the maps. The red bag's a old, really light nylon shopping bag. Inside that I've got a, is that a no, it's no smell bag anyway, that's what it is. And that's got like a couple of days worth of food in there. I've got the Montane Fireball slippers, and I do have the body ones, but um, they're almost twice the weight, and I'm hoping that they will do the job. I do tend to sleep with cold feet. Now, I've got two of the uh, Wild Sky Gear big um, bags. They're Dyneema. Uh, the one on the left there, that's got my mat in it, which is an X bed. It's got my sleep clothes and my spare clothes and my electrics in there so a charger and a few cables over here boom i have um all my down so i've got an actual uk hammocks down quilt and a ghost whisperer um jacket so uh, both great bits of kit to be honest um i can you know i'm going to do a full kit review before and after so and uh, what's in my bag listing um just above that's the bag for this the tent i just put all my empty bags in there although I've tried to leave as many stuff sacks and bags at home as I can and then over here in the net it's all my wet weather gear so I've got a Tyvek um, kind of wind jacket in there which has so far worked great now where did I see someone do one of those uh, step away from the screens yep and um, so um, got that from Radlight in a sale really good first aid kit that's a giveaway the one at the top right um, then I've got the two litre soft water bottle. I've got the yellow one is the um, toiletries bag. 
Then I've got my Storm and Norman, that's the black, just to the right, the left of that one. And then a Diddy bag in front and a Catadyne B3, just a 0.6, because that's all you could get when I first got it. So that's the kit. And this is my home for tonight.